Good evening. NK Telco Sports welcomes you to our coverage of high school volleyball where the new Knoxville Rangers will take on the Jackson Center Tigers. Tonight's game is brought to you by the following sponsors. First National Bank, Keyhole Pizza, Precision Strip, Winner's Meats, Grand Lake Health Systems, Superior Aluminum, and NK Telco. Good evening once again. My name is Jeff Henschen. Alongside me this evening is Craig Louth. We'd like to welcome you here. And again, welcome or thank you to the sponsors allow us to do this. And it's high school volleyball between the MAC, the Midwest Athletic Conference, and the SCAL, Shelby County Athletic League. Craig, the Rangers come in. They'll be on the left side of your screen tonight wearing the red jerseys. A bit of a struggle record-wise, but, boy, they played a heck of a schedule. Yeah, they have. Uh, they've been through the, the heart of... Uh, I should say the top teams of the MAC so far. Uh, they started out the year good. They started four and two, but since that time they've lost six to seven with their only victory coming in a MAC contest versus Delta St. John's. Then if you look at Jackson Center, they're just the opposite of what New Noxa was. They started out slow, one and five, and they were missing McKinley Reichert there for the longest time. Well, once she got back and she started getting more and more healthy, they're on a kind of a roll right now. They're won six of seven contests with their only loss being the top-ranked Fort Lormie. Yeah, and that Fort Lormie team you mentioned, top-ranked, very good. New Knoxville's already played them twice. Yeah. Part of that strength of schedule. I know last week when I had a Knoxville game, their losses, the teams they lost at that time had like a 90% winning percentage. Oh, wow. Uh, playing Fort Lormie twice, playing Coldwater, um, Marion local, local, all those teams undefeated or one loss. And um, so just a, a testament to those teams that make you better by playing them. And Jackson Center, likewise, uh, they had a nice rebound victory. We, I had their game early in the year against Anna. Yes. They got swept here. Yeah. Now they just defeated Anna. That's their last win. They swept the Rockets at Anna on the 17th of September. Again, a healthy McKinley Reichert, I'm sure, had part of that to do. But uh, they played well that day. It wasn't all McKinley Reichert in that victory. Team victory, the wealth, if you will, spreading the ball around was evident. But they bounced back and kind of erased that 3-0 loss here, which was like the first win Anna had against Jackson in nine long time. Yeah. Or long time. Yeah. It's been a while. So uh, that's kind of an impressive victory for them as they – Try to get things aligned as, you know, we're not quite to the end of the season, but that Division 7 that these both represent now um, are going to have a, a good a good chance, if you will, to make a good tournament run. And uh, we'll see once that uh, works itself out here as we finish this. But all these games matter, and these girls are trying to compete and get better as the season goes on as we get ready now for the final buzzer. We'll have our national anthem and the starting lineups. And then the first serve all coming up here on NK Telco Sports. Welcome back to Jackson Center as we get ready to meet the teams tonight. First for the Rangers. Avery Holman, number four. Kira Wellman, number five. Avery Albers, number seven. Bryn Egbert, number 10. Addison Albers, number 11. Kenley Richley, number 14. Paige Webb, the libero, wears number two. Madison Haney in her third season. Assistant coaches, Kenzie Luffel and Rachel Luffel, the Rangers. Now the home team tonight, the Tigers of Jackson Center in the black jerseys. Marin Ludwig, number 24. Ava Butcher, number 15. McKinley Reichert, number 14. D. Lichtenberg, number 31. Presley Reese, number 12. Audrey Bird, where's number 11? Brooke Ann Bird, where's number 2? She's the libero. 
Head coach Kim Metz in her 37th season. Assistant coaches Aaron Pence, Cassie Zorn, and Tara Schuster. Those are your starting lineups. Now before we get started, we have our keys of the game brought to you by Keyhole Pizza. Curse for the New Knoxville Rangers. Their three keys. They uh, Number one's blocking. Number two is improve the serve accuracy. And number three is get good first touch. And for the Jackson Center Tigers. Their three keys are to stay aggressive. They want to hit the spots, the slots on the serves. And the number three is all hand hitters must be ready. Thank you, Craig. And thank you to Whole Pizza for our keys of the game tonight. And we talk about that offhand hitting. That was evident in their league win their last Saturday against Anna where they spread their wealth and other hitters, especially the Audrey Bird, came up big with a lot of kills out of the right hand. We'll see once if New Knoxville will how they'll defend that. But, boy, Reichert is a, a, a force to be reckoned with. She will be attending Walsh University. Her volleyball career will go on to the Division II. Walsh Cavaliers had a great year last year. Did Walsh at, uh, I think, 25-6. and six. Made it to the quarterfinals of the GMAC Conference and struggling this year, but McKinley Riker will be a fine addition, a good power hitter for her next tenure, if you will, of volleyball. For the Rangers, they will get the opening serve. And leading off will be number 7, 5'8", sophomore Avery Albers to start this interleague match or non-conference match between the Rangers and the Tigers. Overpass by Riker, tipped back by Wellman. It'll go down for a kill. Kira Wellman takes advantage of the miscue, misplay on the first touch. Off a couple Tigers, drops for a kill. She comes in on 17 kills total on the season. 5-7 freshman with the first kill. Presley Reese, good offhand or the right side attack, kill by Presley Reese. She's second for the Tigers. 83 total, 2.1 per set. The senior will, will drop back now and serve. Jackson Center as a team, 92, almost 93% accuracy as a team. Very good. Rangers will have a miscue on the hit as Egbert ran into Avery Albers. The setter could not get a good position and get the call for the attack error. Actually, it was a miss hit, double hit, but nonetheless an error. Avery Albers to Addison, back row. Avery with the touch, Avery with the kill off the hands of a would-be blocker. 118 on the season, three per set for the 5'8 sophomore for New Knoxville. Now her sister, Addison Albers, a 5'10 junior with the serve off of the hands of Brooke Ann Bird, service ace New Knoxville. Rangers on the season average just over 2.2 aces per set. Addison serving again. Much better job now by Brooke Ann Bird. A little tight though. Marin Ludwig tried to go on a second touch. Attack error. Jackson center, but a couple good serves here by Addison Albers has made it difficult for the Tigers to get into offense. Played it by Reichert. Attack out of the right will be a kill. Rangers in the net. Give the kill to 15, Ava Butcher. In for the Tigers, number six, Avery Jackson. She will serve and set. Also in the front row, freshman number 13, Tatum Reichert. Jackson, a 93% service rate. Rangers get into offense with the middle attack from Egbert. Jackson with the dig. Riker, her shot will be deflected and off of a couple of Rangers, give the kill to 14, McKinley Reichert. She leads the Jackson Center Tigers with 95. She averages 3.7 per set. Pretty good hitting percentage also, I believe, at 227 if I'm right or yeah. somewhere. Misplayed by the Rangers service ace Avery Jackson, and the Tigers have Come back now and own the one-point lead after falling behind early to New Knoxville. Both teams have had some misplayed serves. Avery Homan hit well and through the hands of would-be defender Bird and Avery Homan, 5'8", sophomore, her first kill. Serving now is Paige Webb. She's a Libero for the Rangers, a 5'3 freshman.
Dee Lichtenberger's attack dug up by New Knoxville. Homan will bump it over. Miss hit on that attack by Homan. Attack error, New Knoxville. Reichert now wears number 14. The senior will go back to serve. Craig mentioned in our pregame. Didn't play all the games early on, and when she did, sometimes it was limited to just the back row until she got healthy. Rangers don't get great offense. They send it over to the Tigers. Tatum Reichert will drive nice. one down the right side to another attack. Craig Kill from the right hand or the offhand position for the Tigers. That's at least two already here in game one. Yeah, freshman comes in with 53 kills on the season. McKinley Reichert with the serve, her team up by two, seven serving five. Homan on the right side, deflected, played up by the Tigers. Back row attack, Reichert. Egbert will get a hand on it, but Reichert's power goes deflected off the court. Kill from McKinley Reichert out of the back row. It's her second one of the evening. A three point lead now for the Jackson Center. Well struck ball. Bryn Egbert with the first touch. McKinley Reichert, freshman attacker, will score the ball. Much needed point for the Rangers. They get the point and the serve. Homan now with two kills. Here early in the match. That was by Riker, or that was by Kinley Richling. Richling, Richling my bad. Yeah. Tipped over and in an open space for the Tigers. Number 11 with a good touch, Audrey Bird. She had a big night in the Anna win. Picks up her first kill of the night. D. Lichtenberg, a senior, will serve. Middle attack, Avery Albers. Touch of the net, kept alive by Jackson Center. Tatum Reichert's attack dug up. Holman out the offhand. Jackson will set Bird. Touch to the net by Good four ball. and seven. Avery Holman and Avery Albers combine on the termination block. Rangers coming in averaging 1.9 per set. Blocks. It's been one of their strengths, if you yeah. will. They get a lot of termination blocks. There's, There's another, another good one. block. The overpass comes down. Avery Albers combined for the last point with a termination block. Gets a kill on this one. But her and her sister both were active, keeping the ball on the Tiger's side. Avery Jackson, number six, will set it. And uh, net violation on the Rangers give the kill to Presley Reese. So Reese attacked it. Didn't get much on it, but had enough to draw the Rangers into the net. In for the Tigers. Ava Butcher, 15, returns to the front row. And serving and then setting will be 24, Marin Ludwig. Serve off of the Rangers. They'll get a back row swing from Bryn Egbert. Attack error as it goes long. The third hitting error of game one or set one. Ludwig, a 97% service rate. Yeah, I mentioned as a team they scored at almost 93%. Yeah. So not too many girls are uh, hitting the ball in the bound or in the net or out of bounds. Offhand attack dug up by Egbert. Swung at the net, dug up by the Rangers. Good volley here, extended play. Egbert from beyond the line. Dug up by Bird. Butcher will swing. Page gets a hand on, volley continues. Hit well oh. and down. Number 11 with the kill, Audrey Bird. And there's a timeout on the court. Jackson Center leads 12-8. You're watching high school volleyball on NK Telco Sports. Precision strip timeout is what we're in, and 
answered one question. During that last volley, I noticed Avery Albers, number seven for the Rangers, a couple times had to lose her footing. I thought maybe it was a wet spot on the floor. I didn't notice it, but during that <laughs> volley, she lost one of her shoes. So when she went to explode, her socks had no grip, and that's why there was some slippage. But the Rangers find themselves down by four. Coach Haney takes timeout. Rangers are unable to get into offense. Opportunity for the Tigers. They take advantage of it. Kill for Presley Reese. Another attempt there by the Rangers. Blockers in the net. Nonetheless, Reese will get the credit. The attack for her also landed inbounds, but the net violation automatically gave it to the Tigers in a five-point lead. That's her s- Presley's second one of the match. Third. Albers to Richling. Touch to the net by the Tigers, kept alive by the Rangers. Rangers keep it alive. They will down ball it over. Ludwig, her attack to Bird is blocked by the Rangers, pushed over and out of bounds. I believe it was 15, correct? No, 24. 24. Oh, Ludwig pushed it over yeah. then. Okay, we'll give the setter a rare kill. By the time I look down, that's when things happen. And when I look <laughs> up, Ludwig will serve. Ooh, that's over, trouble. Yep, the overpass results in a nice set for Audrey Bird. She now has three kills. And Ludwig, Craig mentioned 96%. Give you a, a kind of a numbers, 155 out of 160. She's missed five serves all year. Very and, impressive. And she leads the team in aces with 23. Touchback by the Tigers, kept alive by the Rangers. Give the kill to Reese as the referee will rule. The Rangers lifted it on the attempt. And uh, Reese now with four, unofficially. But a double digit lead, or I should say double digit, a double up lead for the Tigers, 16 8. Nice spot, but boy, good play by Brooke and Bird. That was a nice save. Okay, so is that a kill for Albers because they never (laughs) got it down? We'll go ahead. Avery Albers, it was a nice play by Bird, but it uh, could not be saved well enough, if you will. Tigers unable to get it over on that out of offense or out of system offense and a break for the Rangers. They needed something. They get something, and Richland will serve. Ludwig will run it down and set Riker with a strong attack from well beyond the 10-foot line. Avery Albers will swing, and Ludwig will pick it up. Ooh, Attack by Butcher. Ball hit pretty well. Yeah. Again, another right side. We haven't kept stats here, but, Craig, I know they've scored at least three times out of that right front or offhand position. Well, yes. And that's kind of what they did from what I've heard against Anna that they swept the Rockets their last meeting, their last outing. Avery Albers on the right side. Awkward attack, but... Hit well, Egbert able to save it. Wellman's attack will catch the top of the net and drop in for her second of the night. Rangers need some points here. They trailed by as many as eight. The lead's at seven. Rangers five and eight on the season. As Craig mentioned, losers of three straight. Ooh, that one attack error. That one just maybe didn't come out of Ludwig's hands high enough or well enough. Misplayed by the Tigers and back-to-back points for the Rangers. Avery Albers, 94%, pretty good server for the Rangers. Keeping it in play, serves for the Knoxville. Oh, what's a nice, nice. cross court. Yeah, I, yeah. I she didn't get much on it, but. Didn't need to. She hit it well enough, and I think she they call that cutting it. And uh, another precision strip timeout on the court taken by the Rangers. Tigers lead by seven. High school volleyball on NK Telco Sports. Whether you do business from a corner store or a corner office, there is one asset your business cannot do without. The internet. Everything from sales and marketing, training and shipping, PR, HR, and R&D, your business relies on a fast, reliable, and secure connection. And now, it's more important than ever to partner with an internet provider you can trust. Get Flight Fiber for Business, backed by local tech support from NK Telco. Call today. Welcome back to Jackson Center High School. My name is Jeff Henson. With me tonight, Craig Louth. The Rangers on the left side in the red. The Tigers on the right side in the black. 
Rangers got off to a brief lead early, but pretty much since that time, the Tigers have rebounded well and have a seven-point lead with just seven points away from the Tigers from earning set one victory. Presley Reese with the serve. Egbert's had kind of a quiet night. Tigers keep it quiet with the dig. Left-handed oh. attack. Good idea by Addison Albers with the left hand, but too much strength. It goes about a foot out of bounds. Tigers coached by longtime head coach Kim Metz in her 37th season. Many years of volleyball coaching for Coach Metz. She continues to do well. Her teams are usually pretty sound fundamentally and do a lot of things right. Addison Albers, after missing with the left-handed swing, gets a set and able to finish it with her strong hand, record a kill for Addison Albers. Do you know, has she been here all 37 years? Yes. At Jackson Center. Yep. So the error is serviced by Addison, the first service error for the Rangers here in set one. Tigers have yet to commit a service error. And again, they come in at 92.9% serving accuracy, which also 2.3 serve aces per set. Avery Jackson with the serve. Egbert out of the middle. Deep, out of bounds, attack error, Rangers. Somebody in the net? Yeah. Okay, so take that attack error away. Said 12 and 13 were in the net. Give the kill to Brent Egbert, her first of the night. Rangers leading attacker at 3.9. Paige Webb <laughs> add another one to her league leading ace of the season. Or not league leading, but team leading. Mm -hmm. I think she comes up now with. She's 18. 18. Yep. Rikert's attack, tip back by New Knoxville. D. Lichtenberg. Oh, there. Off of the hands of a yep. Ranger and then a face of the Ranger for a kill for Lichtenberg. Her first of the evening. Senior on a squad. She's now in the category. Boy, the Tigers have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think, seven different attackers have scored kills here in game one. Set one. Little missed a little. I thought I heard someone yell out. I think Paige Webb thought it was in. It was going to be close no matter what. Give a service ace to McKinley Reichert. 94% service rate. That's her 13th ace of the year. Baker's dozen for number 14. Make it make Back. it make it her uniform number. Yeah. I always like how things match up with 14 now with 14 aces on a season. Again, heading to Walsh College. Recently picked up her 1000th kill. Wanted to say that in their game yep. against Anna. Congratulations Came, to, to yep. the young lady. Came into the tonight's game with 1009 kills in her high school career. Riker, or Riker Richling cannot get it down. The attack here. Set point for the Tigers as they've dominated here. The Rangers are just a little out of the rhythm. I've seen New Knoxville play a couple other matches this year and have struggled tonight keeping the first contact and getting into good offense. Well, Boom. that was well hit. Boy, yeah, it, was. it started with a good first touch. That allowed the setter to give it back to Egbert, who had the good first touch, and get her kill off of a very good defensive player in Reichert. So the Rangers stay alive. If you're on Vegas and you got 25-15, <laughs> you're going to hit it right on the head. But uh, right now it's 24-15. Reichert. Uh. Oh, miss the... You think those two wouldn't get in the way of yeah, each other's I know. sisters, the uh, but they the communication. Tatum thought McKinley, and McKinley thought Tatum, and in the end, the Tigers commit the attack error. Brent Egbert serves aggressive. Lichtenberg's pass over the net. Avery Albers there trying to put it away, could not. And the Rangers must have touched it. As it comes back, the tip was saved again. Oh, that one's trouble. Yep, Lichtenberg yep. took care of the overpass. D. Lichtenberg, her second of the night, will finish the scoring for the Tigers here in game one. They win it 25-16. We'll be back with game two here on NK Telco Sports.
Welcome back to Jackson Center High School for tonight's high school volleyball game between these two Division Seven schools, New Knoxville, the Ranger Red jerseys and the Jackson Center Black Tiger jerseys tonight. Jackson Center kind of controls game one, set one, if I should say. They win it 25-16. Uh, Craig, numbers for set one. For Jackson Center, uh, they're there 25. They had 16 kills, three aces, and New Knox will help them out with five hitting errors and one service error for their 25. For the Rangers, 16 points. They had 10 kills, two aces. They had a tandem block, and then they had uh, – Three errors by the Tigers. All three were hitting errors, so that's for their 16. 25 16. Uh, looking at individual, Presley Reese had four kills in the first game. McKinley Reichard had three kills and two aces. Audrey Bird had three kills to lead Jackson Center in 40 Knoxville. Avery Albers had three kills. Brent Egbert had two kills. And Kira Wellman had two kills to lead the Rangers. Well, the Rangers will look to turn things around here in game two. Just didn't get a lot of maybe good offenses. We have a meeting here with the officials. I did not mention who they were. This is Bill Fry with nine years of experience and Keith Cooley with 39 years of experience. Not, are they changing money? <laughs> I don't know. No, it wasn't. It was cards. Yeah. Not real sure. I don't know if they're talking about the substitutions or not I sure. don't either. And. Keith Cooley is the R1. He's the up official. And the down official, the R2, is Bill Fry. Again, Keith Cooley, 39 years of officiating. Bill Fry in his ninth season. And, again, have no idea what the conversation was. Now, they don't come to our scores table and tell us what's going on like they do in the uh, replay challenges and stuff where the official comes over and (laughs) speaks into the camera and says what it is. They'd have to climb a few stairs to get to us. True. And we are sitting up top here at the Jackson Center Press Box. Pretty good view. And as long as my health allows me to climb the ladder up, I'll be here. Yep. So the Rangers, again, will look to turn it around. Jackson Center, I thought you mentioned the keys of the game. Stay aggressive, hit spots, slots on the serves, and offhand hitters be ready. They stayed aggressive. They hit the serve spots very well, and I think the offhand but, hitting yeah. is the key again. They just have spread the wealth, and they did a lot of damage on the right front. Rangers will open up with a powerful swing and score. Avery Albers, assist from her sister Addison, who won over 1,000 assists earlier this season. And it was only fitting that Addison, on that 1,000th assist, set her sister Avery to give it to her. Ball well played as Ludwig goes behind her head, and Presley Reese cuts it hard out of the right front. Boy, good offense, a good first touch makes that setter's job a little bit more easier, not having to run down. You can set the table wherever you want, and Presley Reese, now serving, finished it with a cross-court attack. And there's the difference. Now you got a back row oh. swing, tough, tough. Everything was just kind of out of realm yeah. there. Just did not get a good – and when I say get a good first touch, I, they believe me, they wish it was just that easy. Uh, these serves it don't look like much, but sometimes they float. They get top spin and sometimes a little bit of speed, and you got to time it just right and connect just right to get it where you want it to go. Wild volley here kept alive by the Tigers. The Rangers will battle, send it over, and record the kill. Good save there by the Rangers, and then Avery Albers with the kill. So 2-2 two is a score. This is Avery Albers, the sophomore. She will serve. 94.3% serve. Ludwig has to hustle to run it down. Save. Nope. Give the kill to McKinley Reichert. Misplayed by New Knoxville. And Reichert had to really maneuver her body and see the ball come over her head. Yeah, and if you've seen that ball, the ball kind of had a weird rotation on it. And it, I think it messed with the New Knoxville Attempt, when they were yeah. trying to dig. Yeah, you can do things, if you will, with how you hit it to give the ball a little bit more movement. Egbert will get a good approach, and boy, nice. in rhythm. We have not seen a lot of that tonight, but that time the Rangers are able to keep their offense in system, and Egbert delivers, finishing that deep left corner. A lot of power on that one. Yeah, tough to stop unless you are in 
the right spot at the right time. Addison Albers with a soft serve. Egbert, back to back, takes advantage of the overpass that time. I am pretty sure the ball has to break the plane, in which it must have done before you can attack it like that. She can't reach over. Over, yeah. But she put it down, little chance for the Tigers to play it. Service ace from Addison Albers. Rangers, 5-3 lead here. Kind of how they opened up game yeah. one. Had a brief lead early and then got into a rut. The Tigers kind of took it and held on and grew the lead. Attack error. Tigers out of the right front by Reichert. I was wondering if they were going to call a touch. touch on that. Addison will serve again. Bumped up by Brooke Anberg. Hit back by the Rangers. Hit back by New Knoxville again. So Tatum Reichert. Paige Webb with a nice dig. Folly continues. And Tatum Reichert muscled through the net and the hands, it looks like, Craig, and records a kill. Her second one of the evening. Now, I thought she was hitting over here, so somewhere in there she must have slipped over to the right side because didn't her first couple swings come here? Come and from it, this side, yeah. And she must have got over there and finished on the right side during that whole volley. Now she's back on the right side, and she'll get a hit. Nice one arm saved by Webb. Homan. Reichert with a nice dig. Free ball over by Bird. Rangers opportunity. Quick set. Push deep. Nice decision by Brooke Ann. Bird to get over and field it. And the volley continues. Boom. And Egbert. Boy, those are the nice ones you like to yes. have. No blockers and yeah. overpass. <laughs> the hardest thing is probably waiting for the ball to get there, knowing you have an open hole, if you will, open opportunity. You don't see any hands in front of you. It's just wide open. Paige Webb, freshman libero, serves for the Rangers. Rangers touch it, tip it, keep it alive. Pushed over by New Knoxville. Opportunity, Tigers. Ball hit well. New Knoxville defends it. Free ball over. Another chance for the Tigers. Avery Jackson, middle attack, Lichtenberg. Egbert. Had a couple good hits. That one played by the Tigers. Swung by Audrey Bird. A little bit too much on it. Couldn't get the top spin to nosedive, and it goes out of bounds. An 8-4 lead for New Knoxville. Second attack error this game for the Jackson Center Tigers. Tigers out attacked the Rangers 16-10 as far as kills go in game one. Ooh. That one, a kill by Reichert out of the back row. Hit pretty well. And that ball, when it's above your head, like at your face, it's it's hard to bump and hard to set, like with your hands. It's kind of like Which, you need crocodile arms <laughs> or something. D. Lichtenberg will serve it down the line, played by the Rangers. McKinley Reichert, or Kinley Reichert with the attack error. Tigers back-to-back -back points here quickly. So what was a four-point Ranger lead? Tigers have cut it in half here quickly on the, the kill and then the serve ace or the attack error by the Rangers. Egbert, a little bit more action from her yeah. this game. We're able to get some offense set to her. She's delivered. There's four of them here in the second game, six total for the night. Six-foot senior, Bryn Egbert will serve. Back set to Tatum, Riker. Tried to find the right front corner. Instead, it catches the top of the net. Falls down to the Tigers' side, and Egbert will serve again. She's a decent server, Craig, on the year. 91.5%. 11 aces on the year. Rangers, another chance here to go to work with good offense. Nice Different. defense, 12 and 13. A dozen and a baker's dozen. Presley Reese, Tatum Reichert combined. Termination block. Ava Butcher into the front row. And as routine would have it, number 24, a junior, Marin Ludwig, will serve and set. Ludwig has been very good serving on the year. We mentioned just with five miscues. Give her another ace. ace. 
And guess what, Craig? How many is that for number 24? 24. I love when numbers <laughs> match up. Marin Ludwig leads the Tigers with now 24 aces on a season. A very good 96% accuracy. He's only missed five serves all year. Avery Albers hits it well. Southmore now with six kills, three in this game, three in the first. Number four, Avery Holman, 92% server on the year with the ball in play or puts the ball into play. I don't think it ever made it over the net. Attack error by Audrey Bird. Double block was there as the Rangers. Don't know if it's always been that way. I should know. I watch the game, but it's like I wonder how much they've got double blocking on that right side or if they've kind of shifted over. This time they double block out of the middle. Presley Reese, though, able to touch yeah. it around. Open that wide open. She's able to sense it. Ball is far enough away from... The defenders at Reese was able to push it where she wanted and gets her second kill of game two. Ludwig with a nice save. And give the kill to Addison Albers on the setter attack as she swung it with the left hand. Ludwig kept it alive, but the Tigers never really got it in control. Point Rangers, a four point lead. 13 9 with number 14 serving Kenley Wright or Richling. Reichert winds up, pounds Boom. it downtown. <laughs> the future Cavalier with a kill for her current Tiger squad. Six on the night, three in both games so far. Averaging just under four per four set. set. Yep. And uh, honestly, I, I wonder what it'd be when she's been healthy. It's probably a little bit more than that, but touched by the Tigers. Rangers keep it alive. Ludwig runs in, takes a second touch. Dug by Egbert. Wellman rolls it over. Reichert winds up from beyond the 10-foot line. Webb with the dig. Butcher with the first oh. touch. So what happened there? I looked down. I didn't see. I saw Butcher with the first touch. She got it up, but then D got it okay. kind of in the way. and it Fell right in the middle on the floor. Okay, yeah. so unforced error. Can I give a kill on that? Or you can if you want, but there's more just yeah, it was misplayed. The Tigers ran into each other. Yep. Well hit by Butcher, played by the Homan, or by Homan, and probably continues. Free ball over. Opportunity knocks. Ooh. Wow, that one's almost up here. As I think Homan's okay, as Riker got most of that one, I'm guessing. I think that was off the forehead. Well, that ball, I had visions of maybe making a catch up yeah. here. And, um, Hope she's okay because that was, there's a lot of power behind that one. Holman appears to be good. Reichert, though, hit it well. Her team down by three. Egbert, speaking of hitting it well, also has the ability to administer the blow. That's five in this game for the senior. Averaging just under four kills per set. Craig mentioned five here in game two, had two in game one, so seven on the night. And the serve error, the second of the night for Addison. She also has a couple aces. McKinley Reichert. Hit well, Webb able to self-defense play it. Miss hit by Wellman, attack error, New Knoxville, point Tigers. 15, uh, 13 serving 15 with number 14 serving. Egbert with the first touch, gets it back and blocked off of the, the pin. So give the kill to Egbert. She continues to play very well here attacking in set two. Paige Webb, freshman libero, serves it for the Rangers. Good Jeff save. Play, yep. Gives the Rangers a chance to go quick, and they do just that. When the team's out of system, I think go quick, go fast, and the Rangers did that. And another kill for New Knoxville, and they have opened it back up to four, 17 serving 13. Egbert so far having a whale of a second game, seven kills. 
tipped over, but then out of bounds to give the kill to number 11, Audrey Berg. Her first one of game two, she had three in game three, or game one, excuse me. Averaging 1.3 kills per set on the season for the junior as Dee Lechtenberg with the serve. Rangers quick. Again, I don't know if, if Jackson Center had much blocking up front yeah. there. It happened quick. The Rangers went fast. And Bryn Egbert, as Craig mentioned, continues to attack very aggressively and in rhythm here in game two. She serves now. And that's the back row attack. So give the service ace to Egbert. The back row player, in this case, Jackson, can't. I'm not real sure. If she's yeah, I don't from. know. Yeah. Tatum Reichert with the attack picked up. Oh, I think Reichert, or we'll figure this out here. She, All right. Tandem block, four and seven. Avery Homan, Avery Albers, that combination was successful in game one. Yes. They're successful here in game two, or I should say set two. Coach Metz will take a timeout. The Rangers lead the Tigers 20 to 14, set two. High school volleyball, NK Telco Sports. Welcome back to Jackson Center. We are in a precision strip timeout. I would like to also remind you tonight our scoreboard sponsor is First National Bank. Our keys of the game were brought to you by Keyhole Pizza. Our mid and post game stats are brought to you by Grand Lake Health Systems. So thank you to those fine sponsors that allow us to do this. And this is Division 7 High School Volleyball regular season action between the MAC and the Shelby County Athletic League, SCAL, Rangers and the Tigers. Coach Metz takes a timeout, her team down by six. Looking for a break in the Ranger momentum. Avery Jackson back sets Tatum Reichert. Kept alive by Webb. Avery Albers with a kill. The run for the Rangers continues. Seven point lead for the Rangers. Albers now with seven kills on the evening, four in this game. Rangers being very aggressive on offense. It was the opposite in game one. New Knoxville seemed to be the free balls and the weak attacks here in game two, much more aggressive. And it's Jackson Center kind of scrambling to keep it alive. Egbert, then hot, dug up by the Tigers. There's a break the Tigers need. Audrey yep. Bird. Brooke and Bird, the libero, kept that, started the offense with a good first touch, and Audrey Bird finishes it with a kill. Audrey now with five on the evening, two in this game, three in the first. Marin Ludwig, number 24, recorded her 24th ace of the year, her last time serving. Rangers, not good offense that time. Audrey Bird, we'll back get the to kill. Back. Rangers now up by five. Just four points away, though, are the Rangers from evening the match at one game apiece. Back row swing, Egbert. Off the net played by Butcher. Here come the Rangers again. They'll get a bump set from Webb. Holman's swing will be alive. Ooh, that's tough. Well dug by Brooke Anber. There it is. <laughs> Tell you, you stay aggressive. Sooner or later, you'll get yeah. a cheap one, and that was uh, well deserved. Xavier Albers finishes it with another kill for the sophomore. She just stayed right with it and took advantage of the yes. opportunity. Nice play by the sophomore. Ludwig's attack picked up. Addison Albers gives it right back with her left hand. It drops for a kill. Seven-point lead for the Rangers, two points away from game two victory. Avery Homan 
Sophomore with the serve. Audrey Bird, her attack kept alive. New Knoxville will swing from beyond the 10 foot line, played by the Tigers. Butcher, again picked up by New Knoxville. Avery Albers off of Ludwig's hands. Avery Albers, another kill. Boy, what would be interesting to see what's how many kills the Rangers Haddings will have here in game two. They've been the aggressors. 16 total so far. Service error, Avery Homan. And a rare mistake, really. New Knoxville, both teams have served pretty accurate tonight. Yeah, right? they have. New Knoxville had one error in game one. Jackson Center, well, had <laughs> none. Yeah. So I said that. They record their first one. It is the one that will give the Rangers a 25-17 victory. So the match is now even at one game apiece. We'll take a break. We'll come back. We'll get ready for game three here on NK Telco Sports. Welcome back to Jackson Center High School. Jeff Henschen here alongside me tonight is Craig Louth as we bring you high school volleyball. We'd like to go through some of their additional sponsors that include Carriage Works, Chiltex LLC, Cy Sweeterman, Dickman Supply, Elmwood Assisted Care, Hometown Opportunity, Hillsman Automotive, Kogi Plumbing and Heating, Lincoln Electric, Minster Bank, New Knoxville Supply, Securecom, Buds Chrysler Dodge Jeep, Crown Equipment, Shelby County Veteran Services, St. Henry Bank, and WCSM. Once again, thank you to those sponsors that allow us to stream or bring you high school volleyball. Tonight it's the Rangers and the Tigers, and kind of thought we'd have an aggressive match, and each team now has a victory. The Tigers win game one, 25-16. New Knoxville wins game two, 25-17. And with a quick recap of her game two numbers, here is Craig Louth. For game two, it was just totally opposite of what game one was. First game, uh, Jackson Center had 16 kills. The Rangers had 10. Game two, Rangers had 16 kills. Jackson Center had 10. Rangers were led by senior Bryn Egbert. She had eight in the game two, 10 overall for the evening. And also Avery Albers had a good second game. She had six kills and a tandem block. She now has nine total kills on the evening. And for Jackson Center, McKinley Reichard had four kills. Audrey Bird had three. Presley Reese had two. Tatum Reichard had one. And Marion Ludwig had an ace. So all tied at one game apiece now. We'll see if the uh, aggressive play keeps going. There's a Thank lot you. of yeah. a lot of power. Yeah, it is. At times, it just yeah. boy, when they get in rhythm, it's it's yeah. self defense mode, and uh, and it's fun. It, but it's fun to watch. Yeah, it's, it is. And yeah. we see some great defense. We yes. see some volleys. Haven't all been let's say 100 mile an hour power shots, but we've seen some good effort on the defenses. They've seemed to be pretty active, and they move well. And you know, you chase down balls, you keep it alive, and both teams have done well. And we're even as those stats and recap were brought to you by Grand Lake Health Systems. Again, we prepare for game three. Your officials, your R1 is Keith Cooley. Your R2, the down official is Bill Fry. Your coaches for the Rangers, Madison Haney in her third season. And for the Tigers, Kim Metz in her 37th season. Coach Metz, a couple state championships in her coaching tenure here as Head coach in 2015 and 16. Net violation on the Rangers. Give the kill to Reichert. Mentioned the 15 and the 16 state titles for Coach Metz. She also was in the state semis in volleyball in back-to-back -back years. That was in 07, 08. Yep. yep. 07 was a Final Four. 08 was a state runner-up, and then they won it twice in 15 and 16. Reichert delivers, picked up by Webb. Richling off the court will swing it diagonally. Uh, fine pay dirt. Hit it where they're not. Yep. Or hit it where they ain't. Nonetheless, she found the hole on the diagonal shot. 
And Richling, who just recorded the kill, will now serve. Ludwig, Lichtenberg, tried to tip it to the spot, but missed the uh, placement. And Richling, a freshman, will serve for the Rangers. Rangers have three freshmen on the court now. Webb is a freshman, Libero, Kira Wellman, and Richling. Three freshmen, so a youthful team. That's Wellman. So she will get the kill. So a couple of the youngsters, the, the freshmen, if you will, have come up big here to start game three. Yeah, three freshmen, a sophomore, a junior, and one senior. Yep. So future looks bright for the Rangers. Ludwig will set middle. Reichert off of the hands of a Ranger. Another violation on New Knoxville. Doesn't matter as Reichert's kill was in, but she'll get the credit for it anyways on the net violation. I think the Rangers, I won't say are second or challenging, but they don't feel like they've been in the net. But it's been called here pretty often. It's probably the third or fourth net call yeah. the Rangers have been whistled for. Is Serving is Avery or Ava Jackson. Or it is Avery Jackson, sorry. There's a net violation on the Tigers, so give the kill to Avery Albers. As Avery will serve. The Rangers lead 4-2. to two. Yeah, they're calling that net real close. Jackson will set Lichtenberg. Her attack misses wide right. Attack error, Tigers. That's back-to-back -back for D. Lichtenberg. Attack errors. 5-2 lead. New Knoxville got off to an earlier lead in game two and held on and went on to the 25-17 as Reichert delivers. Another attack on the right front. So... Not that that seems a little odd. Usually it's the offhand, but they have no left-handers on the team as far as attacking, so all those are kind of offhand attack kills for right-handers. Webb will mishit the attack. First error by the Rangers this game. Reichert with the ball will put it into play for the Tigers. Egbert. Running attempt. <laughs> Is that touched by Addison Albers? Yeah, okay. back over, yeah. So it was touched by the Tigers, rolled across the net, and Addison Albers tips Just, it down. Yep. Okay. Thought that's what I saw. Avery Jackson saves it. Nice play by the Tigers, keeping it keeping out of the net. Homan with the use of the nylon. The net can be your friend or the net can be your enemy. Yep. And Get that, that momentum going and it just rolls across the top. And it's like playing seven on six. Yeah. The tip by Tatum Reichert dug by the Rangers. Solo block, D. Lichtenberg, number 31. She is the leader in yep. blocks for the Tigers on the season. She had 24 coming in. And you just don't see a lot of termination blocks. You hope to slow it down at the net, but, boy, when you get one, it seems like it can be a momentum changer. Lichtenberg serves, and back-to-back -back points quickly. There are no, you know, I always think in volleyball, there is, you know, there's just there's no three-point line. But, boy, right. you get a block and a service ace, that's like scoring twice in, you know, in really the same amount of time. It's just back-to-back -back points. Two points go right up on the board for the Tigers. They'll look to keep the momentum going. Egbert will try to stop it, and she will. Off of the net and hands of Jackson Center, kill for Egbert. 11 on the night, first one here in game three. Page Webb, number two, the New Knoxville Libero. 17 aces on the night. Season had one in game one. It gives her 18 and make it 19. That one kind of a... I don't know, kind of had a funky spin on it. But like you said, there's a – I remember in Ohio State when we had a volleyball class, the guy there told us, hold the ball with the nozzle down. That's where it's heaviest. When you hit it, it will knuckle more. Oh, really? So That's... I don't know if there's any truth to that, but 
That was back in 1992. So <laughs> Riker hits it well. Give her the kill. As you know, Knoxville had to make a play off the end of the court. Could not do so. Tatum Reichert been pretty consistent tonight. I think three kills on the night. One, one, and one. Yep, got it. Marin Ludwig, Jr., will serve and set. She's sitting on 24 aces on the season. Egbert pounds it. Off of the block, or not block, but off of the defender's hands in the back row. Kill for Egbert. Rangers did not look real sharp, and I kind of mentioned that in game one. It's just like they didn't look in rhythm, and since that game one defeat, they've played a good game two and have seemingly played pretty well here in game three. Yes, they have. Right, uh, Richling. Presley Reese will give it to Ludwig, who will give it over to Bird, and that will go down as a kill. Audrey Bird, her first kill of game three. She's got seven on the night. Junior attacker will now serve. 12 aces for Bird on the season. Back row swing. Overplay enough for Avery Albers to record the kill. She's in double figures with 11. Holman with the running serve. Ludwig will set outside to Reichert. We're not, oh, not able to get over there. Yeah. But couldn't square it up. Give Reichert the kill off of the Albers sisters' fingers. McKinley now with 11 kills on the evening. Back set to Richley, and she'll go down the line. Nice decision by the freshman attacker and Kinley Reichert. A kill for New Knoxville. Wellman back into the front row for New Knoxville. Reichert, who just recorded the kill, will serve. 15 aces on the season for Reichert. Running attack, well hit. Egbert can't make a controlled play on it, and Reichert delivers the blow. Reichert, after that injury, will early in the season. Good to see that she's been healthy. Yeah. Those things can linger, and she doesn't appear to have any issues. So she's back in full strength and a pretty decent player when that happens. Tipped over by Reichert, played by Holman. The tip dug up by the younger Reichert. The older Reichert will tip it back corner, and that's just years of uh, playing the game. Well, yes. Yep. It, it makes it look easy, but I'll tell you what, you have some girls or some attackers do that, and it can be off the wall, out of bounds. She has good control and records the off-speed, we'll call it placement kill as that's a service ace, catches the nylon, the net, and Avery Jackson with the ace. And with that, a whistle, a precision strip timeout on the court. We're in game three. We're also tied at 12 apiece here on NK Telco Sports. Today's households are using more connected devices than ever before. TVs are streaming, smartphones are browsing, security cameras are watching, and virtual assistants are, well, assisting. You'll need an umbrella today. As you add more devices, we are constantly improving our technology to deliver the fastest and most reliable internet to your home. So make sure you have enough bandwidth. Get NK Telco high-speed internet with speeds up to one gig. Call 1-888-NK-TELCO today. Welcome back to Jackson Center High School. I'm Jeff Henschen. Alongside me tonight, Craig Louth. We are in a precision strip timeout. Knotted up at 12 apiece. Coach Madison Haney, the former Madison Lammers in her third season. Got married in the offseason. Now Madison Haney, her team looking to break the momentum here as the Tigers have climbed back. I think they were trailed by as many as three or four. We're knotted yeah. at 12. Rolled over the... Tigers go to work. Egbert runs down the push to the deep corner. Wellman swings, but too much on it. Out of bounds, wide right. And now the Tigers, their first lead, I believe, Craig, of game three. Yes, it is. Second hitting error of the game three on the Rangers. Avery Jackson, senior, will serve and set and record the ace. That's her second 
ace here in the game. Third overall, correct? Tonight? Yes. She came in with 18. And give her 19, 20, and 21. 21. Plus, give her 93% accuracy. No yeah. mistakes tonight serving. So, again, Avery's done a nice job keeping the ball in play. There's a knuckleball. Oh, no kidding. You got to put that nozzle down. That gives you the float <laughs> when you hit it. Tandem block touch, but power off the ricochet. Out of bounds. Give the kill to 14, McKinley Reichert. You can just feel the momentum changing. Hey, how many kills does McKinley Reichert have? Reichert has 7, 8, 9, 14 total. And 14 kills for number 14. Yeah, there you go. Egbert had to step in front, so couldn't be above the net to attack. Pushes it deep. Tatum Reichert, nice off speed attack. And the freshman with the well-placed shot. Got four now. And a four-point lead for the J.C. Tigers out of the Shelby County Athletic League. Oh, that's trouble. Uh, well played. Addison Alvarez, a front row player now in this rotation. She's able to attack the ball above the net, and she took advantage of it. A kill for Addison, who now will let her sister Avery serve. But a break there for the Rangers. They needed something. They got something. They need more. And they'll have a chance here at the free ball. Paige Webb with the first good touch. The slide offense. Well hit by number 10, Bryn Egbert. So the free ball became the recipe for disaster for the Tigers, and Egbert finishes. Egbert now with 13 on the evening. Three here in game three. Had a big game two, recording eight. Helping New Knoxville to their 16 kills in game two, and a, more importantly, the win. Nice save by Avery wow. Jackson. Yeah. Home or uh, Alvarez tips it over left hand. Riker sizes it up. Touched by Egbert. Drops down on the Rangers side. Kill for Riker at number 14. Now has 15 kills on the night. I think the Rangers need to stay with the power game and not the, the tip. Well, sometimes yeah. those tips there. She yeah. was doing it because there was the bad first touch. Albers about had to do it. She's going to have to run this one down. We'll see once they can get aggressive here. They do. Touch but played by the Tigers. Volley continues. Here's an opportunity. There's one, there's two, and there's three. Yeah. So it works both directions. I mean, you get a good first touch, yeah. and it's usually be ready or get lucky as Egbert continues to hit well. Addison Albers serves. Net serve her violation. It's her third one. She's had one in each game. D. Lichtenberg. Has an ace on her resume tonight as well as a solo block. Puts the ball into play along with a couple kills. Tip back. Nice. Boy, good wrist action by number 10. Similar to what we saw Reichert do. A little bit more. This was a little bit different, but both those ladies knew where the court, and that's all touch and feel. You know, you got to be able to have a sense of what you can do so you don't throw it off the back wall, but yet place it in bounds, and that's exactly what Egbert did. Ace for Paige Webb, her second of game three. The team leader coming in, Craig, correct? Yeah. We had how many? 17. Now, now 20. Yep, 18, 19, and 20 tonight for the freshman libero wearing number two. One point well, game. Back to back. Game is not at 18 apiece. Boy, a pivotal game here just with the momentum and the confidence. To either go up 2-1 or go down 1-2. Mm -hmm. You'd hate to be on the bottom. Try to get a victory here and take a 2-1 lead. Tatum Reichert blocked or never made it. I'd say never made it. There's yeah, not a, a I would lot say, of yeah. the celebration wasn't uh, as th theatrical as what you usually see when you know you got a termination block. Webb again, service ace. That's four of them, Coach. Yeah. Metz says... I don't like Time what I'm out. seeing. Need a break. Precision strip timeout on the court. 20 to 18. New Knoxville leads. Game three. NK Telco Sports. One of the biggest questions people have about broadband internet is what speed do I need? That depends on how many devices you have, how many people are using them at the same time, and how much bandwidth each device is using. To put it simply, the higher the demand on your whole network, the more speed you need. 
Call NK Telco today. One of our customer care specialists can help you find the best speed for your home. We make it easy. 20 to 18, your Knoxville leads following the coach Mets timeout, a precision strip timeout. And our first National Bank scoreboard again reads 20 serving 18. Paige Webb has put together some service aces here in this rotation. Reese will finish it. Boy, that's much needed offense. Yes. Reese, she's been quiet this game. Yeah, uh, after a, what, a four kill game number one, a two kill game number two, her first. Yep of game three, but comes at a very critical point. They needed something, they got something, they'll try to build on that. And what better hands put the ball in than junior Marin Ludwig. Very consistent server. Oh, yep, give her an ace. Yep, give her an ace as New Knoxville um, could not get a good first touch and you have an out of system player trying to set it and it resulted in a misplayed ball. So Ludwig her second ace of the night, and that gives her a quarter century, 25 on the season. Egbert, well struck out of the middle. 21-20, New Knoxville regains the one-point lead. Egbert will go to the back row and serve. She's got six kills here in this game. Butcher with the first touch. Audrey Bird's kill, pick her attack, picked up. Richling swings well. Richling with a touch. Or Reichert with a touch. <laughs> Webb will run it down. Avery Alvarez will save. send it deep. The defense needs to reset. The Tigers go quick. Could not score against the Rangers. Richling's attack picked up. The volley continues. Solo block. I believe it was by freshman Kinley Richling. Richling yep. Solo block against the attack by Jackson Center. Two-point Ranger lead. Egbert hits it hard, catches top of the tape, goes over. Richling, or Riker pounds it. Somebody's, Ranger, uh, Riker, or Albers was, as yep. Reese will get the kill. I'm getting my Richlings and my Rikerts messed up. But uh, the net effect, net result is a Presley Reese kill after having a quiet game two or three. I should say she's come up with a couple big ones here late in game three. Marion Ludwig with the dig. Ooh. Webb will oh. get it back. Rolled over. Opportunity. Seized, I think is the word, or taken advantage of. And Reichert ties it up at 22 all, game nine, three. Nine kills here in game three for McKinley Reichert. She got her 1,000th kill in her last outing at Anna. Having a nice evening tonight. Tandem block. 12 and 14, Presley Reese, McKinley Reichert. Tigers lead by one. The Rangers will take a precision strip timeout. You're watching High School Volleyball on NK Telco Sports. Twenty-three, twenty-two. The Tigers have crawled back. I believe they were down the last time out by a couple points. They've now evened it and going up by one. New Knoxville, chance to tie. Whoa! Oh, that one's going to be trouble. Reichert finishes it, and a couple of Rangers fell into each other. And. Um, Avery will, or Addison, I should say, will walk it off. I don't think whatever happened felt good, and no. she's going to uh, play through it, as that's a kill by Riker. Game point, serving 22. Egbert, good swing, played by the Tigers. Butcher, nice attack, picked up by Egbert. Ooh. Richling will hit it over. Reichert for the win. Reichert delivers. What a set for 
Number 14, McKinley Reichert. The Tigers bounce back late. They take game three and a 2-1 lead over New Knoxville, 25-22. We'll take a break, come back with game four here from Jackson Center on NK Telco Sports. We're back at Jackson Center getting ready to start game four. Tigers on top two games to one. They win game three, 25-22. Game of Craig, the Rangers, I think, probably felt they had for a while. Yes. Tigers come back in the end and earn the victory. Yeah, Tigers came back, took took a tied it and took the lead, but then the Knoxville came right back with strong serving from freshman Paige Webb. She had four aces there in game three, and the Rangers got back up, but then – Jackson Center hit their stride on the strength of McKinley Reichert, who had 11 kills there alone in the game number three. She's got 18 total on the evening. Looking at team stats, Jackson Center in game three had 16 kills, four aces and two blocks. They had three hitting errors. And for the Rangers, they had 14 kills, four aces, one block, two hitting errors, and one service error. A pretty clean game. I mean, the Tigers and the Rangers each with just three errors in game three. So everything else was earned, if you will, either by the serving or the attacking. Yeah. No gibbies were awarded as game four continues. Wild sequence of events. It stays alive. The Rangers will swing with Richley and it'll be picked up. Egbert with the dig. Rangers push it over. Here's an opportunity for the Tigers. They won't be able to take advantage of it. Now opportunity knocking at the door for the Rangers. That one's tough. Yep. So uh, hitting error there or handling error. Both teams kind of misplayed some opportunities, and the Rangers kind of self-destructed on the last volley to give the point to the Tigers. Elimination game for the Rangers. They trail 2-1 to one as the attack error for Egbert. Gives the Tigers a quick early 2-0 lead here from Jackson Center. The Tigers 7-6 on the season. 4-3 in Shelby County or Shelby County Athletic League play. Winners of three straight, and I believe Craig said 6-7. of seven. And the Rangers will get the kill on the touch. Good call by the line judge, Avery Albers. That is something I have trouble noticing I didn't see it, but, boy, no one from Jackson Center is arguing. Yeah. You know, line judge did a nice job. Ludwood back set to Presley Reese. Too much on it. Out of bounds. Could not get on top of the ball. And the Rangers, after a 2-0 deficit, back-to-back points, tied up two game, or two points apiece here in game four. Reese will bump it in. Pretty oh, good nice. swing. Butcher, that was not a normal the, offense. No. As Presley Reese will get the assist. I'm not sure she doesn't have very many on the season, but Ava Butcher, Jr., that was a, you know, sometimes there's out of the system sets you just want to get over. She hit it like she was put on a tee or the ball was on a tee. Gets the kill. Ludwig will save it. Roll shot picked up. Tipped over, kept alive. The Tigers will keep it all going by the Rangers. Touch, wow. another self-defense. Good job by Paige Webb. Lichtenberg touches it back. Active volley here. And Lichtenberg with the kill. Just we'll sit back and enjoy it. It's just like I don't know what's going to happen next <laughs> or what type of uh, offense it will be. Nothing really normal in that rotation, but a lot of action, and Lichtenberg, her kill. That's her first one since she had two in game one. Wellman's attack will go down as a kill. Net violation on the Tigers, and Kiera Wellman, a kill for the freshman. She has four now on the evening. Avery Albers 
serving for the Rangers. She averages three kills a set. Touched back by the Rangers. Lichtenberg will bump it up. Butcher has it touched back again by the Rangers. Reichert hits it over to Knoxville. We'll go with Wellman. Roll shot over, dug up by Bird. Reichert delivers down the line. You're expecting power, and once in yeah. a while she'll throw some finesse and place it at a spot you are not. Rangers made an effort, could not get there quick enough. Her first kill a game four, 19 on the evening so far. Been a big part of the Jackson Center offense tonight, that is for sure. Set across court to Egbert. It'll go down for a kill off of a Tiger hand at the net. Too much on it though as Brooke Anberg gave it a chase but couldn't come up with a play. Egbert now was 17 on the evening. Addison Albers with the serve. Running attempt by Rikers, played by New Knoxville. Again, off of the nylon net for Egbert. In rhythm, it counts for you, and it goes down for a kill. All tied at five. Addison Albers with the serve. Oh, boy. Block or a kill? That was a block by... Uh, Egbert? Yes, Egbert. Solo block. Red solo cup. Oh, <laughs> sorry, wrong song. <laughs> Red solo block by Egbert. <clears throat> That's her second block of the night. No, first block of the night. Touch back by the Rangers. Tatum, Reichert will free ball it over. Middle swing, Egbert. Two Tigers collide and go down. Egbert, her third kill of game four. Does that give her 18 or 19? 19. Yep. Her and Reichert, I believe, both at 19. Yes. Aggressive serve. Reichert takes the opportunity. Oh. Give her the kill to Reichert. She's the first one to 20. Oh, yep. Yeah, overall, I mean... Rangers have 40 kills through three games. Jackson Center has 42. So it's. Webb will keep it alive. Oh. But give the ace, though, to the Tigers. As, again, the ball had ideas of floating out of bounds. I think it was a little indecision, resulting in somewhat of a misplay. The effort was there for New Knoxville, but Reichert will record the ace. She has three now on the evening. 13, 14, and 15 on the season. Egbert, well that's a directional shot. She yeah. went, it's like she went to the right with it, but facing kind of to the left, it was, I'm sure her shoulder feels better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> Eight seven, New Knoxville leads. Lichtenberg will hammer from the right front. Richling attack picked up. Jackson Center, good offense here. Cross court picked up by Webb. Richling will go to work. Out of bounds. Attack error, New Knoxville. Again, kind of a long extended volley there. Action on both sides of the net as D. Lichtenberg, a senior. One of six seniors on Coach Metz's squad this season. Rangers go the slide. A one arm saved by Reichert. Audrey Bird's attack dug up by New Knoxville. Egbert on one hand on number two goes over. The Tigers will swing with Tatum oh. Reichert. And kind of right into the hands of Egbert, who was at the net anticipating it well. Good position. Back to back, somewhat blocked points for Egbert, correct? Yeah. Yep. She now serves. Her team leads by one, nine serving eight. Avery Jackson will set Tatum Reichert. Attack error, hitting error, Jackson Center. Two to one, the Tigers lead. They won 25-16, lost 25-17, won 25-22. Oh, 
service error, Egbert, for first of the night. And for New Knoxville, Craig? That's the fifth service error for the Rangers. One, two, one, and one this game. Yeah, one, two, one, and one. So a pretty clean game error-wise. Not a lot of self-induced mistakes by either team as Avery Alvarez delivers. She might be at double-digit kills. 13. Baker's dozen. Yep. Avery Holman with the serve for the Rangers. Right, uh, Presley Reese. There is a touch. I thought so as well. Reese records her kill first of the game four. She has nine on the evening. One away from double digits for the senior attacker. And serving now is number 11, Audrey Bird, a junior. Dug up by Brooke Ann Bird. Nice block. Oh, one out. Good contact, but not enough real estate for it to land for the Rangers. McKinley Reichert. Kill for her. Number 21. Jackson. Oh, no. This is Audrey Bird. Richley, now the right front. Touched and saved by the Tigers. Trouble. Yep, yep with the diving save. Trouble. Back. <laughs> yep. Keep at it. Yep. You'll hear Craig say trouble a little bit more often. Those are... Tough balls to control. And the Tigers kept persistent. They kept the foot on the throttle, forcing the Rangers to scramble. In turn, they lead now by one, 12-11. Brooke Ann Bird overpass comes back to the Rangers. Reese, Bird, and Reichert. Reichert with the kill. this game, 23 total. Came in averaging 3.7. She has 23, so that's over five. So that's above above her set per average kills. And there's a precision strip timeout taken by the Rangers. The Tigers lead 13 uh, to 11. We're in game four, high school volleyball, NK Telco Sports. Whether you do business from a corner store or a corner office, there is one asset your business cannot do without, the internet. Everything from sales and marketing, training and shipping, PR, HR, and R&D, your business relies on a fast, reliable, and secure connection. And now, it's more important than ever to partner with an internet provider you can trust. Get Flight Fiber for Business, backed by local tech support from NK Telco. Call today. 13 serving 11, we're in game four. Coach Madison Haney. Took her first of two timeouts, trying to break the Tiger momentum. Webb with the first touch. Addison Alvarez to Kinley Richling. Deflected back to New Knoxville. Addison to Avery. Touch off of the hands of Reese. Out of bounds. Kill for Avery Alvarez. And much needed point. as a good timeout taken. I always thought, boy, too bad coaches don't have like seven timeouts. Every time they take one, it seems like they get the point. Yeah. But you're only allowed two per set. Riker squares up, cross-court shot, boy. Nice job by Egbert. Addison Albers will deliver the kill. A nice diving save, one, to make contact, and two, to put it basically right where Albers could go up. She could have said that, I'm pretty sure, but she chose to hit it. Back-to-back -back serve, or back-to-back -back points for New Knoxville. We're tied at 13-all. Is that Riker, or, or that was Reese. Presley Reese. Yep. So the kind of an awkward, one of those awkward swings. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how you describe it. It's like, I just, it's just that rotator cuff is all I think about. <laughs> well, Reese will go back. The senior will serve. Contact at the net for the Tigers. They keep it alive. Another nice dig by Egbert. The tip, touched, and will drop. So Avery Albers goes finesse and it works and we're tied at 14-14. Southmore's up to 15 kills total. She's been averaging three kills per set. So again, that average right now is a above her per set average as the Tigers will go to work. 
Get it off of the hands of the Ranger defender. Kill for McKinley Reichert. At six here in game four. She had 11 in game three. Again, a total now of 24. 24. Serving is Avery Jackson, one of the six seniors on the squad. Overpass becomes a set. Tigers deflected the first attack for New Knoxville. Bryn Egbert rewarded with the patience to wait for it to pop into her side of the court and gets a kill. Addison Albers aggressive serve. Riker <clears throat> dug up by Webb. Homan. Tough play at the net. Riker hit it over. New Knoxville makes a play on it. Cross court will drop it. in. Nice. <clears throat> Kira Wallman. It looked like when it left your hand, it was going to go out, but yeah, it, it just wasn't. It was like a full arm swing change up. Did yeah. have a lot of velocity on it. Dropped just in bounds. Rangers take the lead, but the service error will tie it up. Addie Albers has four service errors on the evening so far. One, One in each, each game. 82% yep. server on the season. Riker delivers the first serve. And oh. whoa. That one off the throat face area for Egbert delivered the punishment. And Brooke Ann Bird, sophomore, kind of a tough spot to be in. That ball yeah. comes at you, can't get out of the way. She shows no effects of it. Hit over, chance for the Rangers to grow the one-point lead. Back row swing, Avery Albers. Good block. 11 and 31, Audrey Bird. And D. Lichtenberg. Lichtenberg probably got the contact, but both Bird and Lichtenberg will get block assist. We're not at that. 17 apiece. Lichtenberg, aggressive serve out of bounds. One of the few service errors the Tigers have committed tonight. I have them down as two. Yep, that's their second one. Well, they serve almost 93% as a team and just two service errors on the night for the Tigers. 18-17. Reese touches, Addison Albers saves it, it goes over. McKinley Reichert. Egbert with a nice save. Oh. And it will drop, give the kill to Reichert. New Knoxville made Tatum. a play and I think it comes in where the hitter and the setter are changing spots and you know, hindsight's 20-20. Avery should have stayed and taken it, but usually you let the setter get the first, second touch and all resulted off of a mckinley Riker kill. We're not at 18-all. Off of a couple hands, out of bounds, Avery Albers delivers her fifth kill of game four. 16 total for the sophomore. Sophomore server number four, Avery Homan. Reese. Off of the hands and maybe the head of a Albers girl. Line shot, right idea, but just missed, hit it. It sails wide right down the line. Coach Metz will take a timeout. The Tigers trail the Rangers 20-18. to 18. We're in game four. Tigers lead the match two games to one. Twenty to eighteen, New Knoxville leads as Coach Metz burns a timeout, trying to break the New Knoxville rhythm. Avery Homan, big ball here to keep it in play, forced the Tigers to go to work offensively. Reichert misplays it; the free ball will not make it over. What do you give there? An Eight. ace for Homan as it started with a misplayed first touch, I guess, but it was not normal offense and. 
Reese will roll it over. Webb dives, saves it. Egbert hits it over. Ooh. Webb with the overhand save. Volley continues. Almost a miscommunication by the Tigers, but Reese able to get it over. Cross-court attack by Bird, played. Miss hit. Again, is that the slider? Yeah, or I don't know. Three-circle finger changeup. Yeah. I don't know, but it was hit well enough, and sometimes those shots are the best Yep. because they're not normal as it's a four-point Ranger lead, three points away from game four victory, and even it up at two apiece. Holman with the ace. It's her second one of the game. Gives her 12 and 13 on the season. 92% server. Five point Ranger lead, two points away. Earning game four victory. Rygert delivers a kill. Tigers stay alive. They have a lot of work to do to climb back into this. You need a point, you go to your power. Yeah, and that's she's been very consistent. Yep. Rangers get a good first touch. They get a good second touch, and they will get it back, though. The Tigers got a touch. Nice play defensively there by Jackson Center. Setting up Reichert. Reichert gets it. So that's another almost double-digit performance for Riker. She had 11 in game three. She's on nine here in game four maybe? Eight. Eight? Yep. Tipped over. Addison Albers, number 11 for the Rangers with her big second kill of game four and that is now set point serving 20. Freshman number 14, Kinley Richling to serve. Riker. Didn't get a it rare over. miss hit. Yeah. Knoxville even in the match at two games apiece. They win game four, 25-20. We're going to take a break. We're going to come back with a, eliminate, or a decisive game five. First one to 15, win by two here on NK Telco Sports. Welcome back to Jackson Center. Jeff Henson alongside me tonight is Craig Lofton. Craig, we had a heck of a game four. Yes, Rangers we did. come back and rebound and force now game five. What's the recap of game four look like? Game four, the Rangers had 16 kills, two aces, two blocks. They had three hitting errors and two service errors. They were led by Bryn Egbert, who had six kills and two blocks in that game. She has 21 total now on the evening. And Avery Albers had six kills. Game four, she has 17 on the evening. For Jackson Center, they had 13 kills, one ace, one block, four hitting errors, one service error, and they were led by McKinley Reichert, who had eight kills in game four. She is now up to 26 on the evening. Also, Presley Reese had two kills. She's at 10 now. And also, D. Lichtenberg had a kill and a termination block. So 25-20. Now we're first one to 15. Yeah, win by two is uh, kind of thought it was going to be a tight back-and-forth match, and that's what we've got. you got some big hitters on each squad. You mentioned Reichert right now going into game five with how many kills? 26. And how many does Egbert have? She has 21. So a lot of attacking from the team's leading hitters. They've come up to play, and they've it, responded. Yeah, and just to mention – you know, with uh, Max Preps doing the ranking now, the Rangers came in ranked 17th, Jackson Center ranked 19th. So, been a fairly evenly matched game. And game five starts off with a Presley Reese kill. She's up to 11 now. Another double digit attacker is Reese, who averages 2.1 kills per set. So, that's right at her average. Yep. Reese will serve it, though, into the net. 
Again, not many service errors tonight for the Tigers. One, two, that's the third one. They serve as a team almost 93%, so they do not make many mistakes serving. Kenley Richling, the freshman for New Knox with a serve. Holman, Addison Albers. The left-handed Lou Alcinder hook shot. <laughs> That's worked a couple times for yeah, tonight. Yeah, she's, um, she's recorded a handful of, she's almost in double figures with kills. She's eight. Eight? Yep. Eight is great. She averages .6 as the setter. And Reichert off the hands of Egbert delivers the power. Number six, Avery Jackson. 93% server, has three aces tonight. Puts the ball into play. Tip shot, nice sliding play by Audrey Bird. And that one just missed, correct? Yep. Just a little bit outside. 3-2 in favor of New Knoxville. Number seven, sophomore Avery Albers. That one floated and carried out of bounds. New Knoxville serve error. Reichert serving three aces on the night. Egbert, the one-two touch, gets touched back by the Tigers. Push deep corner, good hands by Avery Jackson. And recording to kill Audrey Bird through the first line defense and kind of blocked, I think it was Webb's back row vision yeah. and kind of yep. got on her pretty quick. Audrey Bird with the kill, number 11. Should say number 11, three, six, number eight kills for her, four number 11. Yep, you got it. Back row swing, Avery Albers, saved by Brooke Ann Bird. Reichert from beyond the 10-foot line. Holman to Albers, is tipped over, kept alive. The offense works for both. Bumped over, opportunity is knocking. The slide is Oh, oh, saved by the yeah. net. Oh, <laughs> give her block? Yes. For Egbert, you know, I I guess it doesn't matter. I was thinking of that ball that went over that hit the beam and came back. Back, yeah. I, I know the roof is playable. I just thought there was something where if it's, you know, never mind, play on it. It wasn't called, so it must be okay. Coming up with a kill, Audrey Bird. Two quick kills here yeah. in game five for Audrey Bird. D. Lichtenberg will serve. Egbert will get the kill. Her first one here, game five, 22 on the evening. Paige Webb. Freshman libero with the serve. Came up big in game three with a handful of aces. Four of them late, but Jackson Center able to hold on and win game four, or game three. The swing outside, hitting error, Tigers. On the night, Webb with five service aces. She came in leading the Rangers with 17. Now she has 22 on the season. That's 16 hitting errors on uh, Jackson Center. Service ace. New Knoxville, so the attack errors, 16 on the night. Two more importantly in this already game five for the Tigers as Coach Metz trying to get her team to settle down here. The Rangers lead seven to five. First one to 15, win by two. Tatum Riker. Boy, that was a good rhythm. Oh, yeah, it was. Hit pretty soundly, and the freshman comes up big to stop the Ranger run. Tatum now has six kills on the evening. In the front row, Ava Butcher into the back row to serve Marin Ludwig. Both are juniors. Six 
Self-defense, pretty quick offense. Yeah. Started with a short, quick pass, but right to Addison, who was able to go quick to Brynn, and she delivered a shot right at Ludwig, and again, self-defense. Self-defense, <laughs> yes, it was. Good first touch, and a good delivery. So it started with a butcher, first touch, a nice set by Ludwig, and a good finish by Reese. And the Tigers trail by one as they look for a new ball as that one maybe went out into the hallway. I, I guess how many kills she has. Which one? Presley. 12. Yep. Nice. 12 kills for number 12. Albers saved by Ludwig. Riker. Deep shot picked up by Brooke and Bird, as Reichert will muscle it down, kept alive, never hit the ground. The Tigers almost fell asleep. Okay, so Reichert will get the kill. Tough call there is whether or not it hit the ground or not. Line judge rule to hit the ground is what I'm assuming, but boy, tough call. I could, yeah, I was. could, I have no idea. So 8-8. Eight, eight. I actually looked down to write down the score because I thought it hit the I ground. I did too. I thought, whoops, Tigers are going to break. Service ace from number 11, Audrey Bird. Timeout on the court. Jackson Center leads New Knoxville 9-8. We're in game five here on NK Telco Sports. Today's households are using more connected devices than ever before. TVs are streaming, smartphones are browsing, security cameras are watching, and virtual assistants are, well, assisting. You'll need an umbrella today. As you add more devices, we are constantly improving our technology to deliver the fastest and most reliable internet to your home. So make sure you have enough bandwidth. Get NK Telco high-speed internet with speeds up to one gig. Call 1-888-NK-TELCO today. Exciting volleyball here at Jackson Center between the Rangers and the Tigers. 9-8, the Tigers now lead. They trailed by one point or so most of game five. Yeah. They have come back now to take a one-point lead. First one to 15 wins the game five and would win the match. Touch back by the Tigers. Riker delivers punishment. Yep. Third kill of game five for the senior attacker heading to Walsh University after high school for her volleyball career. Has had a big night here tonight. 29 Two. kills so far. Two-point Tiger lead, make it a three-point Tiger lead. 11 serving eight. Four points away are the Tigers from winning the match. Audrey Bird with the serve. Rangers get it to Albers, who tip it down, saved by Riker nice save. on a one-hand pancake. Tipped again, Riker this time on two feet get it. Battle for the ball by the Tigers is hit over. Riker's attack. Nice job by Reese to block and keep it alive. Attack error. Yep. Or, or, okay. I don't think she got it over. I don't either. Coach Haney is going to take her second of two timeouts. The Tigers now lead New Knoxville 12, serving eight on NK Telco Sports. One of the biggest questions people have about broadband internet is what speed do I need? That depends on how many devices you have, how many people are using them at the same time, and how much bandwidth each device is using. To put it simply, the higher the demand on your whole network, the more speed you need. Call NK Telco today. One of our customer care specialists can help you find the best speed for your home. We make it easy. 12 serving eight, Audrey Bird continues to serve. It's been a run of offense here for the Tigers late in game five. Three points away from victory are the Tigers. The roll shot will go off of the defender and drop Avery Albers, her first kill of game five. Yep, 18 total now. Big opportunity or big timeout break for the Rangers as Holman serves. Riker squares it up. Egbert can't save it. 
it hit off the bank board. I think that, I don't know how that's ruled. Yeah. Maybe a different, but uh, Riker gets a kill. We don't have to worry about it. It never came to play, but the bank boards are different than the ceiling. Unless we don't have to worry about it, there's a kill for Reichert. Rich Lane, her attack picked up. Reichert will swing again. Nice one-arm save by Brent Egbert. Ludwig was a save. Ludwig or uh, Reichert hits it over. The volley continues. Here's a chance for the Tigers. Touch Ooh. played by Jackson Center to go down. Tandem block. Albers girl 7-11. Seven, Avery Albers. Eleven, Addison Albers. Termination block. A big one, in fact, to keep the score for the Tigers off the board. Give it to the Rangers with Kinley Richling oh, serving down a, the line. That's a big error. Just misses wide right. Match point serving 10. Avery Jackson, the senior, 93% server on the season. 21 aces to her credit will have a chance to win it for the Tigers. Knuckleball served, carries out of bounds. Tough break for the Tigers. Yeah. Avery Albers, 94% server, puts it into play for the Rangers. They're going to have to stop Reichert. They will not be able to do so. A bullet shot from Reichert will finish it. Heck of a ball game, and the Tigers take decisive game five, winning 15 to 11. We will take a very short break. I'll come back, go through the sponsors, and we'll have the final numbers of this very entertaining high school match between the Tigers and the Rangers here on NK Telco Sports. Welcome back to Jackson Center as we get ready to wrap things up here. But uh, as Craig puts through his numbers or calculates his numbers, a lot of them tonight in this five-game match, I'll go through our sponsors tonight that included Carriage Works, Chiltex LLC, Cy Sweeterman, Dickman Supply, Elmwood Assisted Care, Hometown Opportunity, Hillsman Automotive, Kogi Plumbing and Heating, Lincoln Electric, Minster Bank, New Knoxville Supply, Securecom, Buds Chrysler Dodge Jeep, Crown Equipment, Shelby County Veteran Services, St. Henry Bank, and WCSM Radio. Thank you, sponsors, for allowing us to do this. And I would also like to give a special shout-out to these key sponsors of our game that also included First National Bank, Keyhole Pizza, Precision Strip, Winner's Meats, Grand Lake Health Systems, Superior Aluminum and NK Telco. Heck of a match tonight. Well played, entertaining volleyball game. Both teams uh, battled hard. The Tigers come out in the end as they won game one, 25 16. The Rangers won game two, 25 17. Tigers take game three, 25 22. Rangers take game four, 25 20. And in an alternating fashion, it continues. The Tigers win the match winning game five 15 to 11 and as again we'll come up with the final numbers but a pretty cleanly played game as yeah it was each team's points seemed to be self-deserved it wasn't a lot of handouts if you will with blatant errors or such so uh craig is soon to be ready and we will go through these numbers again that's almost a, yep it's been a lot of action tonight and a lot of scoring I will say the Rangers will drop to five and nine on the season. A tough loss, their fourth in a row. The Tigers remain hot. They'll go to eight and six, their fourth win in a row, and I believe seven out of eight overall. The Tigers picking up a lot of momentum. Both these teams are Division Seven, and will go through the same tournament format, if you will, but uh, could possibly face each other. But uh, definitely Division Seven schools will be in the same bracket team system. So. I think Craig is ready. Craig, final numbers you have for the kills, aces, blocks, et cetera. Yeah. For the New Knoxville Rangers, who Jeff said their record falls to five and nine, 
They were led by Bryn Egbert, who had 23 kills, one ace, and three blocks. Avery Albers had 18 kills and three blocks. Kara Wellman had five kills. Avery Homan, two kills, two aces, two blocks. Paige Webb, six aces. Uh, Addison Albers had eight kills, two aces, and one block. And Kinley Rutschilling had three kills and one block. Overall, the Rangers had 50 kills, 11 aces, and seven blocks. They had 15 hitting errors and eight service errors. Now for the Jackson Center Tigers, who raised their record to 8-6. and six. They were led by all-league McKinley Reichert. She ended up with 31 kills of those 31. Let me count them here real quick. 11, 18, 23 of those were in the final three games. So she had 31 kills, three aces, and one block. Presley Reese had 12 kills, two blocks. Audrey Bird, nine kills, one ace, one block. Avery Jackson, three aces. Tatum Reichert, six kills, one block. Ava Butcher, three kills. Marin Ludwig, one kill, two aces. And Dee Lichtenberg had three kills, one ace, and two blocks. Overall, Jackson Center had 65 kills, 10 aces, four blocks. And they had 16 hitting errors. Four service errors and one unforced error. Well, a lot of action there. Yeah. Long story short, well-balanced game. I mean, you look at the total kills, that's probably the silver lining there. The Tigers, 65 compared to 50 for the Rangers. Yeah, that last, that game five, 10 to four kills yeah, Jackson just Center. Put the throttle down, never gave yep. the Rangers opportunity, and uh, that separated themselves, but everything else pretty even. The total aces, 11 to 10, and blocks, 7 to 4. But a lot of offense, a lot of defense. Uh, like I said, a uh, time well spent up here yeah. at Jackson Center. A yeah. lot of action, and uh, it was kind of what we thought between these two squads that um, appear to be pretty even, and um, that was what we saw tonight. Um, we have one more piece of business, and uh, it's kind of an obvious yeah. one, I think. You know, the player of the game, it seems like a broken record, but <laughs> that's sponsored by NK Telco, and that's going to go to McKinley Reichert. What a night, 31 kills in five sets. That's an average of six point something. Had three service aces, a block. Um, her defense was, you know, not many mistakes on the defensive end. Her hitting was phenomenal. I, You know, the Rangers didn't stop all of – I mean, she didn't get a kill on every swing, but she no. didn't have many miss hits. So. Right. So she kept the ball on the play and just continued to pound. And, you know, for the Tigers, she is the head of their snake. On both sides of the ball, I mean, there were so many blocks that were kept in play that, yeah, it's it was a very entertaining yeah. match to watch. It's unfortunate something like this, somebody has to lose. Yeah. But, yeah, like I said, I don't think anyone lost. I think the Rangers did, did yeah, they, win. They, yeah. Just didn't win. I mean, it's a right. heck of a battle, exhausting. Uh, you know, it's going to be a – you know, there's a lot of sort ladies on there because both teams, oh, yeah. you know, yeah. played, you know, not a lot of players, but, you know, just a lot of action. Everyone was involved, good environment. And uh, once again, congratulations to the Tigers. And, heck, congratulations to the Rangers on a great effort. Uh, however, the Tigers do prevail out in their home court, winning three games to two. For my partner, Craig Louth, my name is Jeff Henshin. We hope that you enjoyed this telecast here on NK Telco Sports. Once again, your final score, New, um, Jackson Center defeats New Knoxville three games to two. Thank you for watching here on NK Telco Sports.